We're walking through the public park with the remains of the Baths of Trajan. This is a huge artificial terrace. The baths are being made between 104 and 109. The architect is none other than Apollodorus of Damascus. He's also building the Forum of Trajan. If you come and take a look, here and there in this park, there are signs of grand architecture. This is the first major bath complex. It is the blueprint for later bath complexes like the Baths of Caracalla and the Baths of Diocletian. The terrace itself is around 300 by 200 meters. The core of the buildings is around 150 by 120 meters. And you take a look right here at the remains of Nymphaeum. You can see the coffered cement roof that juts out and down below, you can see niches for statuary. The entire wall was faced and veneered with marble. So here we have another impressive section of the Baths of Trajan on this large artificial terrace extending out from the Esquiline Hill. And here again you can see that in this case the bottom part, the original ground level, is for a fountain. You can see massive concrete walls, niches for statuary, and as you make your way to the top you can see how this uh, hemicycle dome is extending out with its coffer decoration still intact. Baths of Trajan famously are constructed on top of the remains of a section of the Golden House of Nero. So what you see right behind me is part of a large conservation project. So you've actually peeled off the section of the park, put on an impermeable layer, and then replanted a garden. And in the distance you can see the Colosseum. So you see the relationship between the location here of the massive Baths of Trajan and the entertainment venue in the Valley of the Colosseum, the Flavian Amphitheater. And just nearby, you also had the poorly, the poorly preserved remains of the Baths of Titus. This section has been interpreted as being a massive library. So what did you do in the baths when you came to the baths of Trajan? There are places for sunbathing. Central core is for uh, bathing. Cold pools, heated pools, massages. There are places to exercise. There are places to socialize, to listen to music. And always there was a Greek and Latin library.